Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I got some news on prestiging in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, uh, one of the multiplayer designers over at Infinity Ward was being interviewed by PlayStationLifestyle.net. And if you guys want to go check out the full interview, I'll link it down for you guys down in the description. Uh, but in the interview, they talked about some information regarding prestiging. And he said that there's going to be a total of 10 prestiges. And after every prestige, you're going to unlock a unlock token. Kind of like what we've seen in previous Call of Duty titles. And also that number of prestiges could go up depending on community feedback, which more than likely will happen because uh, you know hitting 10 procedures is pretty easy to do it's not really that much of a challenge anymore it really just takes a lot of time but uh, yeah as of now there are going to be 10 procedures and more than likely there are only going to be 10 classic weapons that are going to be in infinite warfare if you guys didn't know uh classic weapons are going to be returning and the way you unlock these classic weapons is through classic weapon unlock tokens and the way you get these tokens is through prestiging so it looks like you're going to get a total of two tokens every time you prestige the unlock token of course and the classic weapon unlock token and uh, like i said there are going to be 10 classic weapons in the game i'm pretty sure they're going to add more because uh, you know like i said they de depending on community feedback they're uh, going to add more procedures and i definitely could see like maybe 15 or possibly even more and uh, maybe even some more levels too as well um a lot of people were complaining that uh you know there's a lot more procedures in the game and a lot more levels like they i read some people say that they wish they would just stick to the uh, original uh levels and level cap and uh, prestige cap in the game but you know i really don't see that much of a problem with that in the game i really don't see anything wrong that can happen with it but uh i guess i could see i guess where the developers are going back on their uh word i guess but i don't know you know it's not really that big of a deal to me in my own personal opinion but tell me you guys think down in the comments also let me know what classic weapons you like to see return in uh, infinite warfare because for me i personally want the acr or maybe the pp90 that water gun i missed that gun so much in modern warfare 3 or the p90 the mp7 just any gun that you like to see from uh previous call of duty titles come back to infinite warfare let me know that down in the comments and also tell me how many procedures you think should be in the game. Also, don't forget to drop a like if you guys did enjoy. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm a Verts. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later.